Meanwhile, the hunt is on for a driver involved in a deadly hit and run in Palmdale. Two people were killed when the car burst into flames after the violent crash. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live on 11th Street near Rancho Vista Boulevard with more on what happened. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Absolutely heartbreaking crash here. We just heard from the family of one of the victims. They tell us she was a young mother and was with a rideshare driver. And we were given security video from a neighbor that captured the crash itself. I want to warn you that it's difficult to watch. Disturbing home security video shows a driver speeding down Rancho Vista Boulevard and then a horrific impact. <laughs> LA County Sheriff detectives say the Toyota Corolla flipped into a light pole and erupted into flames, killing two people. A distraught father tells us one of the victims is his daughter, Spichelle Pope. He says she's a beloved mother of four young children who took a ride share last night to get food and never came home. He was awakened when his grandson knocked on his door asking for his mom. It was a lot worse than I had imagined. I still feel the heat on my arms. Denny's employee Jonathan Craig tried to help the other victim who he saw stumbling through the flames. I used an apron to pull him out. That's how badly burned he was. He passed away, I want to say three minutes after me pulling him out of the fire. I told him to, you know, hang on, listen to my voice, you know, the ambulance is coming, they're on their way. Mm. He took his last breath. Craig also saw the driver of the Challenger jumping into an infinity that sped away. Sheriff investigators suspect the Challenger had been street racing. We have had an increase in, in street racing issues in the area. Um, we do have deputies that are out nightly that are trying to, to make an impact. Um, on the the car clubs. Craig says other witnesses in the parking lot of the 24 hour Denny's may be able to help the grieving families by steering detectives towards that hit and run driver. I could only hope they come forward and help because I'm sure if that gentleman has a family, you know, our kids, they're able to get closure. So much loss out here uh, overnight. And Suzanne, uh, at this point, sheriff investigators are not releasing or confirming any information about the driver who died. Again, they are looking for the hit and run driver and asking anyone who can help to come forward. Well, Cara, you're right. Loss and suffering, it's just terrible.